it has been reported that things are not looking good uh go mk party sunday well they have reported that uh to zuma um there's an there's an article they dedicated <laughs> and a whole article about that and saying that um mk party uh, uh, MK Party at uh, Tutuzile Zuma show she is in control, says her victim. Right. So, what I'm going to do, obviously, I need to take you into confidence and we need to talk about this. It has been all over the media. Um, it has been said that, uh, it has been said that Jacob Zuma's daughter, Jacob Zuma listened to uh, look, his daughter, uh, that look, being oh, Tutuzile Zuma, right. So, in the article that was written by Umawande Ama Otini, Mawande Amashabalala, Bonga Loko Bumawande Amashabalala and Bongane Dagane. The article was released on the seventh of july two thousand and twenty four, obviously Sunday World. It it it, it, it gives this thing Uguti for it gives this impression that even for who, who is this guy name? The Secretary General, the former Secretary General of Umkonto Wesis, Ata, Ata Zwane, who is, by the way, still involved with a local a MK. He's just He just resigned from the positions. But the, the latest pictures where EMK party visited uh, look at the Shambhani church, uh, he was there as well. So in that church, in look, in... What is that thing? Uh... In that position, it has been said that he resigned because of Tutuzile Zuma. Well, at this moment, we don't know whether that is true or not. Now, I'm going to have to go back a little bit and backtrack as well before we can dive into the article itself. You will remember Ugu team, the look at this guy now, Chablan Kumalo. He said the person, Jacob Zuma, listened to his daughter too much, which is Tutuzile Zuma. And uh, this daughter is going to ruin EMK party because I don't know whether he says a thing, something around those lines that uh, this daughter is not invested in this whole thing. You know what I'm saying? Well, we don't know. We don't know. We don't know. Uh, one thing I know for a fact is the fact that when Julius Malema was asked about this issue at MK party and uh, this issue at MK party and uh, e, what is this thing? And the, and the, the troubles. He said, uh, EMK party will have their problems. He says, not we've had our own fair share. So he said, MK party, now nah, they will have their, the, the look at their problems. It is bound to happen when you form an, organ an, an, an organization. So these squabbles in the beginning of any organizations are expected. But there's also, also something that I do expect from you, and it is this. If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people. Because to subscribe, it is free. To like the video, it is free. To comment in the comment section below, it is free of charge. To click the notification bell, it is free of charge. To share this video, it is free of charge. To watch this video until the end, it is free of charge. Also, good people, I mean, come on, to watch the ads, it's free of charge, and that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financially contributing to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as little as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the Super Thanks Party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? will bring you more and also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed okay so let's go through the article again uh the article says um president jacob zuma's daughter to do the list zuma sambunta is at the center of a bitter row look rocking rocking the umkonto versus the party over the look at the paging of high ranking members right let me switch off this phone uh because really yeah it says zuma sambuta who was who was shown in as an as a as a member of a uh, parliament recently is accused of using her position as the look as the daughter 
of the former president to get rid of people she perceived as being a threat to her to her quest to secure power. That's what they say. Now, this source says, Tutuzile Zuma is running a amok, using Zuma's name to deal with all the people she believes are a threat to her. She doesn't care who, who those people are and how they got into MK. She is causing chaos and her behavior is undesirable, uh, out of order, a senior party insider told the Sunday World. They say, if Zuma steps down or whatever situation, this party will go down with him. He is the, he is the foundation and the glue that is holding the party together. And he, if he steps down, he will look hell will break loose. Now, let me repeat this one. If he steps down, all hell will break loose. Hey, I don't know. Maybe one should ask the question. It, what is MK Party? Maybe that's where we should begin. How was it founded? What is the founding principle of MK Party? Is it is it, is it, uh, uh, how, how best can I say this? You see, if you look at ANC, what they did with the ANC, they developed the brand ANC, and then everybody works for the brand ANC. So, if you look at e, e, IFP, for instance, for the longest time it was associated uh, to Uptelez until Uptelez died, and when he died, then now, it is now becoming a party that is separated from Buteleze, but they are trying to use Buteleze to campaign. But then if you look at NFP, for instance, the day Uba um, Makwazamsibi died, in fact, the problem started when she was sick. And, and look at NFP today. So, the same question can be asked about EFF. Is it Julius Malema's party or EFF can exist without Julius Malema. And I'm asking these questions because if you are building a brand that is solely based on a single individual, then you are inviting problems in the future. But if you are building a brand that can stand on itself and discipline can be instituted in the organization with or without influential people such as Jacob Zuma, then you have a brand that can stand for tomorrow. But another problem that you are most likely to face when you are starting an organization, organization like that is that there are people with preconceived ideas. There are people who see opportunities. Uh, they see a shortcut. ANC, in the ANC, it's going to be difficult for me to get a position. Oh, so let me join MK. That's an easiest party. It's a new party. I'll work hard probably and get a position. So to them, it's not about the party, but it's about what, wh wh where do they want to see themselves. You are most likely to attract people like that. And then you find that there are few people that understand the principle here, and that is... It is about the party, not individuals in or within the party. But unfortunately, it's always the case that at the inception of every organization, be it a non-profit organization that you start there, a lot of people will, or the first thing they see, it's a job opportunity. Others, positions. People love positions. So at this moment, it's a bit difficult to tell what, what is the problem and what is not the problem. It's really difficult because it's going to take time as well. And uh, yeah, it's going to take time for us to see things for what it is. And you can't wait for, a, for, 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 for that day where MK Party finally stabilizes and this internal 
uh, squabbles and these internal wars and you know what I'm saying? You just cannot wait for a time where it all subsided and died and then you st- the party focuses on its mission, right? With that being said, guys, see you on the next episode. But until such a time, please take care.